Hey friends, I'm going to take a moment today to talk to you about leg length differences and scoliosis. As a doctor of physical therapy who specializes in treatment of scoliosis, I get asked about this a lot and here's my take. So many individuals with scoliosis have been told at one point in their lives that they have one leg longer than the other. Um, what that usually makes people think is that they must have one femur, one tibia that is actually physically longer than the leg bones on the opposite leg. Um, however, what I see more commonly is actually that we have an apparent leg length difference that tends to be caused by some asymmetry at the pelvis. And if you take a look at this picture, it might help you see what I mean. So if you look here, we can see this individual has a right thoracic left lumbar curve, which is a fairly common curve pattern. And here you can also see where the pelvis is not level. One hip is being pulled higher than the other, and it's really coming from the spine. Because of the muscles that are shortening in that lumbar curve, it's causing the pelvis to look and actually be more in that tipped or tilted position, like one hip is higher on one side than the other. This results in what looks like a leg length difference, but may actually be coming more from what's happening in the spine and the pelvis than from asymmetry at the legs itself. So um, what this means to you is that many individuals with scoliosis have been told they need to wear a lift in their shoes. And sometimes a lift can be helpful and sometimes it's appropriate. So if you've been using one and you've been finding relief, I definitely would not stop using it. Um, definitely not cold turkey if you're finding benefit, that's great. But a lot of individuals may not need a lift or may not need as much of a lift as they think because what we really want to do is address this issue higher up and fix the asymmetry here to the best of our ability rather than just adding a lift and balancing out the pelvis. If we were to do that, sometimes we create more, more stress, more, more discomfort, and it actually ends up causing pain. So um, if you haven't added a lift yet and you've been told you had a leg length difference, that would not be my go-to first strategy. I would try to do everything else you can first. And then if there's still leg length discrepancy and you wanna try to address that with a lift, Maybe. Um, I w again would really recommend consulting with someone, finding out if that's the right approach to you rather than just putting a lift in and seeing what happens because sometimes it can cause pain. It can also cause pain if you remove it quickly. Um, so final thoughts on use of a leg lift with scoliosis would be, may not be necessary for most people. A lot of people will benefit from working in this region, pelvis and lumbar spine. Uh, first and maybe as a last resort it can be helpful however if you're already using a lift and you're finding that it is helping I would not stop using it either all right let me know if you have questions about this it tends to be a, a topic that a lot of people have questions and opinions about this is just my take as um, a PT who works a lot with individuals with scoliosis all right I hope that helps